Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this beautiful gift box hamper come basket for the Diwali festival and I have used beautiful transfer me sheet from Dress My Craft to create this ethnic box. Isn't it looking very beautiful? So all sides are covered with transfer me and the handle I have decorated with handmade paper flowers so I will quickly give you a glimpse of this box so let's get started for this we need transfer me sheets which are newly launched transfer me from dress my craft I am using ethnic elephants and elephant and motif sheets border punch liquid glue scissor thread pollens wired pollen any sponge ball tool groove golf tool foam applicators embossing pad some archival inks white color sheet maroon color sheet any pattern paper sheet and mount board or cardboard so first time starting with making the box for this we need this mount board piece which measures 24 by 16 centimeters we need two pieces which measures 16 by 6 centimeters two pieces which measures 24 by 6 centimeters and now I am going to start making the box for this I'm taking this 24 by 2 centimeter paper strip just folding this from the center this is simple photocopy paper and using one more strip which measures 16 by 2 centimeter for other side so using these connectors I'm going to join all the flaps with each other So the box will look like this now I'm taking this 6 by 2 centimeter paper strip folded from the center and now I'm joining all four corners using this from outside and inside Similarly do with remaining three corners so it's done now I'm taking one more paper strip and just covering the top portion of our mount board for the finishing look similarly I have connected for other sides and also I have added strips inside the box for complete finishing now here I'm joining some more mount board pieces in little height like this so that you can easily tuck your lead on top of this so I'm taking this 7 by 15.5 centimeter mount board and connecting it inside the box 
This technique gives you very nice bonding between lead and box and your lead will not easily get opened. And for other sides I took 7 by 24 centimeter mount board. Now I am starting with lead for this I am taking 24 by 16 centimeter piece and this is 3 by 24 centimeter thick sheet. Here I am using 250 GSM white sheet and I am adding this with my lead from all four sides. For this side I am taking 3 by 16 centimeter sheet strip. I just folded this in half. Now just add corners on each side just we did with the base. So after completing lead it will look like this. I have added one strip of white sheet all around the lead for the complete finishing. And also I have decorated the inner part using pattern paper. Now I am adhering one more white color sheet on top of our lead. This sheet is having 250 GSM thickness. Here I am using complete white color because our transfer me sheets look very nice on white base. Now take back your box and I will decorate it from inside using some pattern paper and maroon color paper. This pattern paper I got from local craft store. So the box is ready. Now it's time to do transfer me. So taking back my lead and I will start doing the transfer me. So here I'm taking this beautiful elephant motif ethnic elephants transfer me sheet and I'm just taking out the sheet from the packet and I will gonna use these red elephants. So I'm just fussy cutting it using my scissors. So I have fussy cut these two elephants and I am going to connect these elephants on top of my lead like this. So if you want to arrange the elephants like this, you have to swap the pattern with each other like this. Because after transfer me, the design will be flipped on the base side. So you have to remember this thing. Now I am just removing the film from top of this and sticking directly on the base this time I am not dipping it into water because for the base I am using paper so I need to use less water for my transfer me now just take a sponge dip it into water and slowly apply it only on the transfer me area remember you are using paper as a base so you have to be very careful otherwise it can spoil your project now slowly slide it and ta-da! The beautiful elephant motif pattern has been printed. It's looking super gorgeous. Now I am repeating the process on left side. like this 
in a similar way i am going to use this beautiful border all around the base of the box like this in the same way i will do with other sides so after adding transfer me borders on all four sides it will look like this and now i am decorating the top little more using this beautiful happy diwali die cut out which is from the diwali dies from dress my craft i have added this die on pink and golden colored circle So I'm adding the sentiment in the center, and also I'm using some die cut out corners to decorate my box. These dies are from Heartfelt Creations, and for the corners I have used corner punch. You can also use wooden corners if you have. like this isn't it looking super gorgeous now i am adhering the handle so i have already added 15 by 4 cm paper strips i have added three layers with each other to make it thick and now i am decorating it using the same pattern paper strip from inner side and outer side and then i am taking the beautiful border punch and decorating the top portion of the handle from right and left side like this so complete it till the end and now i am going to connect my handle with the box so just add glue on both the ends and also add little glue in the center of the box and connect like this hold it for some time and allow it to dry now i'm proceeding to the flower making so i have already cut this five petal flower and using poppy archival ink i am coloring the center portion of the flower using my blending tool Then for the edge I am using chrome yellow. I am just adding little bit of the chrome yellow shade on the edge of each petal. And for the proper flower shaping I am cutting each petal toward the center little bit. And 
and for these small flowers I am using blue archival ink and just adding in the center now just sprinkling little water on these flowers soak it using tissue paper and then I will shave each flower so taking my embossing pad and for the large flower I am using this large groove golf tool all the supply links are given in description box you can check there if you want to purchase anything and I am just tapping the center using ball tool for the smaller flower I am using small size groove golf tool group golf tool comes in four different sizes so according to your flower petal you have to take the size of group golf tool now again tapping the center using small size ball tool I am pricking the center inside these small flowers so that we can pass wired pollen through this and in the same way we need one more big flower one medium size flower and one small size flower so we need to shape these flowers as well now all the shaping has been done so I am just layering each flower with top of other For the center of the flower I am using these pointed pollens, these are thread pollens and now I have created one more big flower and two medium flowers. For medium flowers I have used two medium layers and one small layer. Now I am just passing one white color wired pollen through these small flowers to create a filler. In the same way I have created some more filler flowers with the same process and also we will be needed some leaves. Now take back your basket come box and I will start adding my handmade flowers on the left side of the handle one by one. So after adding all the flowers leaves the cute handle is ready I am just loving the outcome so the beautiful gift hamper box come basket is ready you can just open it very easily just slide your lid slowly like this and you can put any gift inside this so I am just adding my handmade toren which I have created earlier in my video And also I am going to add this beautiful quill tea light holder so you can also put chocolates or candles or mithai or dry fruits anything which you want to gift so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates. I am waiting for your comments and suggestions. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.